Hey everyone, it's me, Missy. It's 6.20 in the morning, it's still dark out, and I just got to the end of my long run. I am not home yet. I'm sitting at the bottom of a hill um, down the street from my house, and I wanted to share something that I do that keeps me motivated, not just in running, but in my mindset for my everyday life. Um, at the end of every run, I stop at the bottom of the hill by my house. It's a really steep bout three block hill up to my house and when I first started running I hated this hill um, but as I've put on more miles and more miles I've used it to um, increase my speed and my confidence so at the end of every run I stop down here and I stretch and I get my mind back together and I refocus myself I turn on my favorite song which right now is um, Brave by Sarah Brillis and I sprint as hard as I can up the last three blocks to my house. So the reason I do this is because when I was a teenager, I had a neighbor named Casey Johnston. And him and I were close friends and we used to run together sometimes. And he was about a foot and a half taller than me and had legs for miles. And um, so when we would run together, it was a struggle the entire run to keep up with him. And when we would get to the last block before our houses, he would take off in a sprint. And I would have to sprint to keep up with him. And I didn't like to sprint at all. But I wasn't about to let him beat me home. So I would push myself those last couple of miles. I mean, blocks. And I always was surprised that I could push myself a lot harder than I thought I could because I was already tired. Um, so that's something I've applied to running and applied to my life. That when you feel like you can't go any farther, you should push yourself that little extra bit and push yourself really hard and you'll be able to do more than you ever thought possible. Another person who taught me that lesson was my brother. He played soccer in high school and I hated soccer because... Uh, one, I wasn't a competitive person, and two, I hated to run, so I thought soccer was pointless. But he loved soccer, and he would train with his team, and they would run for miles and miles and miles. And I was like, oh, why do you do that? And and he was like, oh, I love it. And I was like, well, how do you get so fast? And he's like, you have to run fast enough that you feel like you're going to puke halfway through your run. So when I get tired on a run, I always think of my brother Matt. And I think, if I'm not, if I don't feel like I'm going to throw up right now, then I'm not running hard enough. And it's made me a lot faster runner and a lot more persistent of a person. And so that's my message to you guys today, that whether it's running or anything else, but in your life, most importantly, that when you feel like giving up, give it that extra couple blocks, full 